<clears throat> the uh, the Red Box Bowl. It's December 31st. It's in Santa Clara, California. 2 p.m. on Fox. So another another bowl game, not on ESPN. Michigan State and Oregon. Michigan State seven and five on the year, four and eight against the spread, one and three against the spread in their last four. Oregon eight and four, five and seven against the spread, two and two in their last four uh, against the spread. Uh, Oregon opened a one and a half point favorite. The total was forty seven and a half. That has jumped to forty eight, and Oregon is now a three point favorite. All of the numbers, other than like defensive points per game and defensive yards per play, point to Michigan State. Or sorry, point to uh, Oregon. Oregon. I was about to say, none of them point to Michigan State. Uh, the, the metrics have Oregon minus point four points. So, they, I mean, they got this like a toss-up. And the total is 45, according to the metrics. So, it's a little bit under this. Michigan State has averaged, what, 14 points a game for yeah. like their last four games? Not, not a lot. Or five games? That's right. Uh, they, they can't score whatsoever both teams are are plus in turnover margin michigan state plus two oregon plus four um michigan state cannot run the football which is surprising they're number 118 in the country in rushing yards. they can't throw the ball either um that's why they only score 14 yeah they're number 123 in yards per pass (laughs) like it's it's really bad um but i have an interesting stat for you okay Michigan State five and one against the spread and straight up in their last six bowl games. Uh, the only loss was to Alabama in the 2015 playoffs. In seven bowl games with a spread of less than seven points, Mark D'Antonio seven and zero against the spread, six and one straight up, five and zero against the spread with four outright wins as yeah. an underdog. D'Antonio is the factor here. I, I literally yeah. don't like anything about Michigan's team against Oregon's this team, but. I, but I ride with D'Antonio. That's I'm doing the same thing. I mean, that, I just do. That, and those numbers are you. You can't fight with those numbers. I mean, it, it, he it, gets them up for bowl games. It drives me insane. But his teams just figure it out. But it's, you you have to look at this from like a coaching perspective, right? Mario Cristobal is one of those that's like, all right, well, we're going to play our young players, and we we'll, we just want the practices. Like it's a game that doesn't really mean anything. And D'Antonio always looks at it as we got one shot to go out there on a national stage and this is what people will remember you by. So, you know, Cristobal last year, like, he got the head coaching job and then absolutely laid an egg against Boise State in the Las Vegas Bowl. I think it could be kind of the same thing here. Oregon is focused on recruiting. Like, they just got the number one or number two player in the country uh, what yesterday. So we're recording this on December 16th. But they, I mean... They are going hard after some of these recruits. I don't think they're going to be too worried about a Red Box Bowl that's that's in Santa Clara. Probably right? not. Uh, Michigan Probably State not. will look at this as you going under. Uh, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go under the. 48. I'm going under as well. I'm going under the forty because I don't think Michigan if, State. Can if score Michigan much. State's going to sco- if they're going to cover and and win yeah. the game, and they're only going to score fourteen, then you can't <laughs> you can't make math get you forty. Yeah. Definitely not 48. Close to 50. I just don't see it. I don't see it either. The only way this game goes over is if Michigan State gets blown out. And I just I mean, don't that, see that how is this going to – I mean, how mathematically do you get a close game in the upper 40s and low 50s? You just, you just can't – that just yeah. can't happen with with this team. No, you're you're right. So, we, we're both taking State uh, Michigan State plus the three. I'm watching it happen. And, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're both going under the 48 on this one. Uh, this I am kind of interested to watch this one just to see like Fox's coverage of it. And, well, I'll, and I'll watch it because I like D'Antoni. And I like watching Oregon. I mean, they're fun. Yeah. I like Cristobal. He's a good coach. Yes, he certainly is. He certainly is. Uh, now, it's on as, as the same time as our – or at the same time as our next game. Uh, so I'm going to have to have two games on at the same time. But that that is what it is. 